Oh my god! Just take a look at the You boys don't get fired. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's lit. You wanna catch all the trip, trip, trip. Brendan, can you see? No. Can you see? Oh, God. Oh, my nose. Oh, now you can see. Oh, I didn't even know you were filming. All right. Woo. Well, we were told to stay six feet away from everybody. On oh. top of that, though, I got permission from our county to actually go outside because uh, I played the role. I'm part of the media. Specify that it did not uh, apply to members of the media. Um, and it worked. So now I can officially leave my house. I just can't go anywhere public. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I've got a blindfold. I'm going to pick a fish for Chris and myself. Two separate videos, two separate channels. Let's do this. Let's do it, huh? Hey, oh. went in the wrong way, dude. The entrance, the entrance is this way. Oh, that's a field. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, Brent. I'm sorry for the noise. We're in a warehouse. This isn't like a place open to the public, so basically we've got rows and rows of fish tanks, and I am in the middle of all of them. I'm gonna put this thing on. The stool. Yep, there's a stool. Oh, that's you. That's you. Oh, that's my camera. Hey guys, thefanaticbrand.com. That's where you can get your merchandise. There's another stool. There's a stool. Can you climb it? I want, I want this one. You want which one? This one. Seriously? What? Can you see? No? Okay, get down before you see what it is. Why? What is it? Don't worry about it. You'll see it when it gets delivered. Come on. What are the odds that that's the fish that he just picked? What? Well, I picked a fish. I don't really know what it was. Now I'm picking one for Chris. Social distancing, stay away. Now I'm picking one for Chris. You can see that on his channel. So you guys know what I got. I don't I don't know what I got yet. No touch. Dude, seriously. Ah, oh my God. I told you not to touch it, dude. Oh my God. Oh, the you're freaking cactus. Ow. These are all salt water. No, they're not. I would know what they are. I can see it. All right, guys. I don't know where I'm. God dang it. What is with all the stools? I can't hear very well at all. And I, I, at the same time, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, oh, oh my God. Another no. stool, Brenton, another stool. Don't put your hand in that. Why? Because there's dangerous fish in here. I want this one. You want that one? Yeah. Okay. No, you can't look. I don't even know what that is. It's not even a label. Is he gonna? He may eat you. Dude, that is awesome. Can I put my finger in there? That's the fish you picked for me? Yeah. Oh, dude, that is amazing. Thank you very is it, much. Is that expensive? I don't know. I would assume so. I can't put my hand in there. No, it may bite you. Don't put it in there. Okay. All right, perfect. All right. All right, sweet. Well, that worked out quite well for me. There he is. Leave it to Brendan. Hey. Playing, <laughs> playing with boxes. <laughs> What a deal hole. Okay, I know we definitely didn't come in here when I was picking stuff, but uh, I wish I came in here because I would have loved to pick a big koi for the pond. Look at that guy. Look at those. These are tubs on tubs on tubs. Freaking thousands of baby koi. I'm pretty sure they just gotta bag up everything we got. Okay, so I guess after I picked the stuff, Chris told them they immediately bagged it up and shipped it to a local fish store. Now uh, we just got a call from them and we're going to pick it up. So uh, we're, we're going to be there in a minute. I, I have no idea what I got, but yeah. What are you doing? You ready to go in here and see Looking what you got? Looking at all the boxes. I know. So I'm, I'm quite confused because I, I don't think I've picked that many fish. Hey, guys. hey Brandon. Hey. I uh, don't remember picking that many tanks. We got, we got a few for ourselves as well. Okay, okay. <laughs> what the f*** was that? <laughs> Oh, it's Papa Bajo Pike Sickle. I have no idea what you just said. That's the second one you picked. How much do they cost? I don't know, but you wait until you see the first one you picked. Got the cheapest fish in the world, but also super rare. Really? That's super fine, cool. Yeah. Really? I picked yeah. a rare fish? Yeah. Look at me go. Look at that. I think the other All one. All right. Um, for which box the other one was in. Oh, shut up. No, I, no way. You see that? I picked a water cow. I already, I already have a water cow. Well, Is that one for me? That, that one's for you. Now want, you have two water cows. I want that one. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You specifically said you were taking the first fish, and then I was taking the second fish. I picked another freaking water so, cow. So you're getting the pike, and he's getting the water cow? I picked another one. I already have one of these. So you get the you get the nice rare one, and I picked the same fish that I already have. I mean, that's my favorite fish. It is your favorite fish. Now I just have two of them. I'll figure something out. This thing is this thing is big. I think okay. this one's bigger than Gopi McTwire. Yeah, this is a this is a big one. Well, all right. Oh, well, what else did we get? Oh, those are all yours. We got a nice assortment of things. I got a few new plecos. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I picked the two predator fish. Was there any other like? Crazy fish there? No, I but I, I asked Ian to like direct us to the predator.
Liver Isle. So, okay, because yeah. that's kind of what I. Yeah. I'll take them. I'll figure. I mean, if you guys want to name them. I mean, I've got another water cow. There's nothing wrong with two. I guess yeah. you get the, the what? Ah, ba 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 All right, let's take them. Yeah. See, right here. Bro, what are the freaking that. odds that I pick a water cow? Right. I mean, that's my favorite fish. But still, that's crazy that you pick a freaking water cow. All right, here we go. Look at that. We're gonna need the lid. Amazing. Well, what do you have to say about that? Like, honestly? No, to be honest, this video kind of sucked. I think I'm gonna delete it from my camera roll. Okay, right, I'll take Me and Zenny filmed one of these videos like freaking months ago, bro. <laughs> Move. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. You're pushing me into a wall. Oh, yeah. They're fun to film, and it did fantastic. So I looked it up. I was wrong about the name. It's the Atabapo Red uh, Pipe. Atabapo. What do you think that thing Perfect. sells for? Like, uh, that fish would be somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 ish. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we're going to end it on that you note. You're welcome. I picked this semi inexpensive fish and somehow picked a $200 fish for Chris. How does it even work? Hey, all I know is that I got a water count and. <coughs> I like cows. No more sneezing. You have the corona. <coughs> Ox Studios, North Texas, they hooked it up. Let's head home. Okay, so this is the big tank, obviously. Here's my current water cow. Now, I think he's a little bit bigger because, you know, you know, I've just been feeding him massive things. But the news I just found out is that my pond outside is 76 degrees. I thought it was 71. It is not 71. It's 76, which is perfect because that means if it heated up that fast, it'll get up to like probably like high 70s in literally just a few days. It's dirty right now. It's just because the ducks were in it. It'll be clean here in a little bit. But that means this is going to be the very first exotic to go into the pond that I happen to pick blindfolded. So we're gonna grab this and stick it in and he's just gonna acclimate for the next 15 minutes. All right, here we go. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, he wants out. So I'm not gonna use a net or anything. I'm just gonna let water out like so because it's, it's just water. And we're gonna come right here. Oh, hot. Yep, it's a fish. These fish are so chill. Like, he could care less that I'm picking him up and putting him into a pond. Well, there he goes. He's in. And he's good. Gotta put this rock. Gotta put that rock right there. That way he can't swim into the skimmer. Drain this. That's good. Open this up. Okay, that's literally it. That's all it takes. The pond is good. And I think, I don't know if I'm gonna put a net over it yet or not. That way the ducks can't get in it. They can get in the waterfall, but they can't actually get in the pond and make it all dirty. And then, then we should be good. But there are, oh, there they are out there. There are the, there are the, oh, Craig. Hey, Craig. He's looking at me filming him. Hey there, buddy. Oh, and there's Russell. And the goats are eating. What's going on, guys? Look how happy this man looks. He's always so happy. Oh, now he's, now he's sad. It's literally like you walk outside and like, boom, there's my dog. But no, it's not a dog. It's an alpaca. Every time I'm mistaken for a dog. Dog. Hi, sweetie. This is literally the sweetest goat of all time. I am in love with this goat. Like, she's finally gotten comfortable, if you guys don't know. I mean, I'm sure a lot of y'all do. She was abused, and we saved her. This is Steven. He's not as nice, but he's the very first. And she's also very extra. And see, this is this is where we run into a problem. Because she does that, and she can pull her head out, right? See, when Steven does this, Steven forgets that he has horns. She, she can get out. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Steven, Steven has horns, and it's much harder... I hear you, and she's also eating the, okay. If you guys want any animal and you have like an okay amount of land, I live on about an anchor. So if you have decent land, I 110% recommend mini goats. They're like dogs, but extremely stupid. That's what makes them great though. And keep in mind, I'm not an educational channel. I'm a vlog channel. So if you want to get one, go ahead, do your own research. But absolutely, I literally love those things. The alpacas are a little bit more on the advanced side considering they are freaking massive. Craig, come here. Craig, come here. Craig, come here. I Let me brush you. Oh, he doesn't see me. Craig, come here. You got wood chips on you. Come here. Oh, they hear it. Come here, Craig. I see you. Look, Craig. Craig. Oh, my lord. Oh, my gosh. Craig, let go of the plastic. Oh, he's coming in hot. It's on the ground. Okay, now watch this. This is when you strike. Keep eating, Craig. Keep eating. They literally lay in the wood chips. Now we're done with the pond stuff. I need you guys to comment down below. What's the next fish we should put in the pond? The Oscar, the red tail, not the flower horn, the ear one, or the peacock. So those are your options. You got four options. Comment down below, let me know. Oh my. And hopefully we can do that as soon as possible. But with that being said, hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. Hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Also follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. It's finally warm outside, it's finally time we can start doing stuff. But uh, the coronavirus kind of messed that up, which is not good. So yeah, you know, but everybody stay safe out there, wash your hands, practice the whole social distancing thing. I know it sucks, but it does. Yeah, you, you, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. So with that being said, I will catch you ladies and gentlemen on the next episode of Fnatic. Peace.